Hello, uh, welcome to jasonnewland.com. This is Chronic Pain Tuesday. So I've done a, I think I've done six so far, so I think this is the seventh one so far. And uh, each week on a Tuesday, I try and uh, offer a different maybe a different technique, I'll talk about chronic pain, different ways of maybe dealing with, coping with chronic pain. So this week, I wanna do a technique. So this is a technique that I kind of, just read about really recently. And I thought it'd be good to do, good to um, give it a go. And it's all part of a process. When I learned NLP, that's Neuro Linguistic Programming, many, many, many years ago, in fact, nearly what, 18 years ago, 19 years ago. Yeah, 19 years ago. I yeah something like that so yeah anyway one of the things we learn or I learned on the training is about having a control center in my mind and kind of being the pilot or in control of the control center um, so having, for example, being in, I guess being in like a, a spaceship, you know, where you can control the temperature of the spaceship, you can control the air conditioning, you can control the speed, you can control, you know, everything basically in from one place. The control center. Um, in NLP terms, it was about being able to control the submodalities of an experience. So for example, if something is too loud, let's say your internal dialogue is too loud, maybe turn it down, turn down the volume. In your mind, you see it and turn it down. Uh, change the volume, uh, change the tone. So instead of you're this, you're that, it's like, you're this, you're that, you know. So it doesn't have the same gritty um, trigger that maybe it did before. There's other ways of having a physical sensation and changing that feeling in certain ways. So for example, if you've got pleasure turning it up maybe if your pleasure level is at a three turn it up to a five you know as an example maybe if there's an internal voice which says that you actually you know you're a really good person you're kind uh, you're wonderful you're you know you're intelligent Maybe that voice is there, but it's very, very quiet. Maybe you can turn that volume up for that voice. So that actually it's there. You are kind. I am kind. I'm caring. I like to help people. You're intelligent. Yeah, I'm intelligent. You have it at the same level maybe as the voice that you used to listen to and then turn the other one down, which was negative. So you can do lots of different things from this control center. And it's your control center, it's in your mind. And you can have anything you want. It's all down to imagination. But you don't even need to, ha to use much in the way of imagination if you don't want to. It can really be a case of just pressing a button in your mind to change something. 
to change the brightness of a picture to make it duller to make it change you know so the idea of the control center could fill the next 10 years of videos if I just used that um, as a guide I'm not going to because it's still amazing and I'd like to incorporate it within sessions instead of having maybe the session all about that but it can be all about that and this video is going to be all about that it's going to be all about the control center and when you come once you come to the end of this session this video mp3 there's maybe a question in your mind the same question maybe that i had and probably loads of other people had when they first learned about this is what can i do with it or what more can i do with it what more can you do with this bearing in mind each button each knob each uh, you know whatever you use to turn to change a volume a color the size of a memory whatever it is you're the one that creates those knobs you're the one that creates those buttons that you can push up and down to change the volume of your internal voice you're the one that creates them therefore you've created that one you could therefore create more and be really creative I mean, you could have a whole you can have thousands of buttons if you want or you can just create a button for now and just label it whatever you want it to be and it then has the power that you give it to control that particular sensation as we're talking about chronic pain the obvious thing is to then have more control over that physical sensation that you're experiencing in your body this is something that's been used in hypnosis for many 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 years in different ways it's really hard to get to the to the origin of different techniques with hypnosis i've got loads of books i've read loads of books lots of resources over the last 18 19 years and also online as well but i can't generally find where stuff originated from so as far as i'm concerned hypnosis is for everybody everybody it's it's something it's like air like oxygen it's available for everyone to use and to make use of and to adapt it's it's like i think learning hypnosis learning nlp all that stuff it's kind of like becoming a mechanic and then using those skills to fix all kinds of engines and you know whether it's a car or whether it's a helicopter you know it's being able to adapt to being able to fix things to be able to change things and to be able to look at things in a certain way which is what hypnosis is very much a case of looking and feeling and experiencing things in a different way opening your mind to possibilities which are there so you got these possibilities of how will you use these techniques or these ideas to make changes to increase your physical comfort and you know there are 
so many different ways to change how you physically feel. Apart from the fact you can just sit there and do nothing and how you physically feel will change because how we physically feel continuously changes all day long. 24 hours a day we are continuously changing how we feel. It's just sometimes or maybe a lot of times we're not aware of those changes because maybe we're so busy telling ourselves that nothing changes and I always feel the same and I've always got this here and this that blah 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 and we listen to that voice when we could be listening to reality which is listening to our body and that's not to say that you're not feeling what you're feeling because of course you know, I wouldn't be doing this session if I wasn't concerned about how you feel. And if I didn't care about the results of dealing with uh, chronic pain. That's why I'm here doing this. So I take it very seriously. At the same time, maybe you can take seriously the idea that things constantly change and you can have control over that. If you did a scratch card uh, or watched the lottery and you won a hundred grand or a million pounds, dollars, whatever, I would guarantee in that moment you wouldn't feel anything but pleasure. Even if it's just for a moment, for a glimpse. Or holding, or well, something more important than winning money, maybe holding your grandchild for the first time, or your child for the first time. Or kissing somebody goodbye for the last time. You know, something that has deep emotional uh, connections to you take you away from how you're physically feeling in that moment because your physical feeling is connected to how you're emotionally feeling and that's connected to what's going on in your life in that moment. So going back to the control centre, going back to the idea that you and I and everyone can play around with these ideas, can really make changes. So the best thing to do really is to just test it out. So I'd like you to close your eyes if it's safe for you to do so. Just get in touch with how you physically feel. Just notice how you feel in your head, your eyes, your jaw, back of your neck, your throat, your upper back, middle back and lower back, your chest and your stomach, your shoulders, your upper arms, elbows and lower arms, wrists and hands and fingers, your hips, your thighs, your knees, your shins, ankles, feet and toes, just being aware of how you feel, not trying to change it, not trying to do anything, but just being aware of how you feel right now. And when you do that, what naturally occurs is increased comfort, relaxation naturally occurs. Partly because, you know, you connect listening to my voice with feeling relaxed and calm. Also, when you do have your eyes closed and you focus on how you physically feel, it's a much stronger focus than maybe 
it would be if you had your eyes open because there's less distraction and maybe focus on what you can hear if there's any background sounds just notice what you can hear and again you're not trying to block out any sounds they're just there where the sounds are there are just sounds if there's any smells just allow them just to be there without thinking if there's any tastes in your mouth again just accepting that that's what is in this very moment and your mind just noticing your mind not trying to empty your mind of all thoughts but just allowing your mind to be in whatever state it is and even if it's busy even if there's a lot going on in your mind you naturally feel more relaxed just by focusing on it just by allowing yourself the time to be with yourself I'd like you to focus on the idea that we've already discussed of sitting in that control room and it can be any design that you choose and we're not going to play with too many of the buttons or test too many of the uh, special gadgets that are there gizmos the knobs whatever but the only one that we're going to look at is the one connected to comfort the one connected to comfort to that particular part of your body that you would like to have more comfort in whether it's your shoulder your right shoulder your left calf muscle whether it's your face your neck your head your stomach your chest your back whatever part of your body you wish to experience more comfort focus on that part of your body and find that lever that knob which has got the name of that part of the body on so if it's your neck you see a knob which has the word neck and there's numbers from zero at the bottom all the way up to ten and just notice what level it's on now without having done anything just notice what level of comfort 10 of course being the most comfort you can experience 0 being the minimum and just notice what feeling what comfort level that particular part of your body feels this very moment So if, for example, if it's a two, I'd like you just to push it up to a three. In your mind, pushing it up to a three or pushing it up one more than it already is. One number higher than it already is. And just notice how you feel differently in that part of your body. Maybe there's a sound connected to this 
comfort level. Now you can push it up another number. So if it was a three, push it up to a four. If it was a two, push it up to a three. If it was a five, push it up to a six. Just be aware of that part of your body, noticing how it feels. right now, this very second, being aware of that part of your body, Again, you can just push it up to another number, unless of course it's at number 10, and you can just allow it to stay at the number it's at. You can just enjoy that feeling of pleasure and comfort. Otherwise, push it up to the next number. And notice how different you feel emotionally when you feel this way with more comfort physically in that part of your body emotionally you also feel different maybe your appreciation level will heighten your feeling of wonder and astonishment Maybe your mind will feel amazed at how easily you can change the way you feel physically just by pushing that number up again to a higher number. Yet again, noticing if there's any sound, noticing the physical sensations associated with that part of your body when you change that number higher to a higher level of comfort in that part of your body leading to a higher level of comfort in your mind also naturally and easily And how does that feel in that part of your body? The sensations of complete comfort, the feeling of enjoyment, of knowing the satisfaction that you can experience by just letting go of any preconceived notions of how you used to feel and think about certain things have now changed and your opinions have also changed due to the evidence that's been presented to you now in this very moment you really can enjoy the experience of increased comfort in that part of your body and knowing that that feeling will stay for as long as you choose. Because the feeling and the intention is so powerful. And now that you know easily you can increase comfort in any part of your body that you choose to enjoy 
that knowledge because that knowledge will stay with you forever. There's no way of ever forgetting how easily you can just let go and enjoy increased comfort in any part of your body that you choose. And at the same time, the level of comfort in your mind increases, sending a ripple of comfort throughout your entire body. That signal, that signal of intention, the intention to feel more comfort, is then sent into the future so that that part of your body can feel more comfort naturally and easily. In five minutes time, in an hour's time, in a day, in a week, in a month's time, that feeling of natural increased comfort is there for you to enjoy and to experience because it's natural for you to enjoy feeling comfortable and calm both physically and emotionally not just in that part of your body that now feels more comfort but in every single part of your body every muscle every piece of skin all your internal organs can naturally feel more comfortable as that healing increases causing each part of your body to remember to relax naturally and easily with every breath you take in the future you can feel more comfort more confidence in your own ability to enjoy your life and to make changes whenever you choose to live the type of life that you wish for and to travel in the direction that you choose for yourself allowing you to really appreciate your own strengths that you have deep inside which allows you to live a life worth living and to enjoy the physical sensations that you can experience and also to enjoy knowing that you can have a huge positive impact on how you feel in each part of your body by spending time in the control center and doing as you've already done by increasing comfort in any particular part of your body. And you can just smile to yourself at just how easily you have made these changes worthwhile and natural and you can keep these feelings of comfort for as long as you choose knowing that at any time you can return to the control center and increase the comfort of 
any part of your body that you focus on. Easily and naturally. We come to an end of this session. I'm going to count from one to three. When I get to three, you can safely open your eyes. Feeling wonderful and calm and confident in your own ability to trust in yourself and to love yourself. One, two, becoming more aware of your surroundings and how you physically feel, ready to open your eyes when I get to three. And whenever you hear my voice, or see my face on a video, you will naturally feel completely relaxed and confident in your own ability to make profound changes easily and naturally. Three. And you can open your eyes, feeling wonderful, you can enjoy the rest of the day. I'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you for watching. Bye.